Hello everyone, this is King Kony LT. This video I will show you how to use this H32B or our King Kony product. Then you can use a different work mode. And we will introduce you to what's the different work mode. And sometimes for the software development, uh, sometimes you need to connect with your own card server. Or, or maybe you need to let your controller work in local network and just send the command by your computer. Okay, let's look at the work mode. This work mode has four items. This is UDP. The UDP means it will connect to our Kinkonis card server, only Kinkonis card server. And this is a TCP server, and this is a TCP client, and this is MQTT. The MQTT need to install the Mosquito or other MQTT block on your card server. Uh, this will have make many videos. Now this time, in this video, I will show you how to use the TCP server and the TCP client uh, for our private protocol. So you can send a command to turn on and turn off the relay and get the input uh, state just uh, point to point uh, in local network or by the card server, by the TCP client. Okay, let's look at the form. And we have posted this topic, uh, how to use the TCP server and TCP client. I have just some items we usually will use. Uh, the first one is the Ethernet we can set to the TCP server. And the second is the Wi-Fi can set to the TCP server. And Exchange, the Ethernet can set to TCP client, and the Wi-Fi can send to TCP client. And the last, uh, the Ethernet can send to TCP client, and the Wi-Fi can send to TCP server. Or Exchange, uh, the, the work mode. Uh, so what's the different? Uh, we, I can tell you how to do with the different work mode. The first time we can choose to the Ethernet for the TCP server. So you just log in your web, uh, IP address in your web browser, and you can see this is the Ethernet setting. And this is the IP, and this is the port. Uh, this is for use in local network. Your controller needs to connect with your loader. And we can use this uh, network debug toy uh, this you can use any toy, just uh, this is easy to us to use. Uh, and I have uploaded the network toy on this website. Uh, this is download uh, the debug toy, this toy. So we can test uh, the protocol, uh, this can only uh, the protocol. And the first you have set to the uh, this IP and this part. So the part is a server. Uh, this is a server. So your software needs to change to client. So client will connect to the server. And uh, connect to the server IP and the server part. This is the server part. So we can click connect. OK, connect successfully. Then we can send the command if you want to turn on relay really one. Well. So you can see our port code. Here you turn on the new one. Mm. Uh, I can input uh, this protocol. Uh, the protocol details, you can see our web, web page. Uh, this is send command to turn on the new one. You can see I can send, and uh, you pay attention to this LD indicate. Uh, you can see uh, at, at this LD is on. And uh, now you can see this LD is on, and I can turn off, just change to zero. I can send. Okay, uh, this is how to use the TCP server. The controller is the server, and my software or your software is client. Okay, now we can go to a step two. The Wi-Fi set to TCP server. Uh, you can see uh, this is setting this section is setting for Ethernet, and this time I want to use the Wi-Fi. If you use Wi-Fi, I can also set to the TCP server. Uh, this just work in local network. You just set to these sections and press save. And you can see the green LED is on. That means the Wi-Fi is connected to successfully. And I can use the Ethernet login. And this time, you can see this is the Wi-Fi IP address. And the part, uh, we also use the part. Where to see the part? We just copy. And, uh, and open window. And uh, the username and the password are always admin and sign. 
and then you go, you check uh, this other setting. As you can see, uh, this is TCP server, and the port is five 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 five. And uh, now we can use this window. Also, you can set to the TCP client, and uh, the IP address is this one. And connect, and you can see it's connect. Okay, now you can see I can also send this command uh, to turn on the new one. Uh, just uh, this time, is turn on the new one is by this antenna is Wi-Fi, and the turn off I change to zero. Uh, this is turn off. So this is how to use the Wi-Fi TCP server mode. Also, you can open this web web browser, and you can set the work mode is STA and the STA setting just connect to your thing the Wi-Fi SSID and the password and just go to the other setting and make sure this is TCP server and this part and you can change any part just you want to use and this you can change to zero that means uh, the TCP connection is no any communication uh, that will never disconnect uh, this is important <coughs> you can change to zero and press save and uh, restart and you can uh, to use and this is how to use the Wi-Fi by the TCP server mode and if you want to use the TCP client uh, what is a TCP client? that means let your container work as a client uh, so that can connect to your own server or you own your cloud server so this time you can see I can change this toy, uh, disconnect, and uh, this is a server, uh, this is a TCP server, and this is my computer IP, and I'm listening at this part. Mm -hmm. I can clear and uh, open, and you can see the all connections is yellow, so now I will change the settings. Let my board uh, connect with this software. Uh, maybe the software is on the cloud server or local compute. Uh, just 1.71. So I can use the Ethernet. Oh, first time I test with the Ethernet. TCP client and uh, the, the server. Uh, this is my compute. And the server part is 4196. Uh, just so you can see, uh, this is IP address, IP address, and this is the part, and this part. So that the controller, we can press save, and this controller will reboot and make sure. Uh, see these sections. Uh, you can see uh, this connect. Uh, the client is connect to this, and this all connection will have one. Uh, this is my board. And you can also see this, the LD is turned white. The white means the TCP client. And uh, you can see when I restart the power on, the controller will auto connect with my software. Uh, if this software is on the cloud server, so you can remote country. So if you can also send this command, uh, this protocol is sync the TCP server and the TCP client. You can send, okay, this is turn on, really one. So this is the server sent to the command to the controller and the change to zero, I send again to turn off the really one. Okay, so this is very easy. Just uh, change the rows. This is server and the controller is client. Okay, let's look at the next. Uh, if the Ethernet is client and the Wi-Fi is TCP server. So we can as use this functions uh, maybe uh, you have you want one computer is connect to your really controller in the local network but also you want to use the controller connect to your cloud server so we can use this to work mode at the same time so i can set the ethernet for client so i can client the ethernet is a client and to my server and the wi-fi i change to the tcp server and this one and this is the IP for the Wi-Fi and now you can see I can test uh, if I open two network debug window 
and this is for the server. Uh, it's it connect by this this Ethernet, and this Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is work as a server. Uh, you can see the Wi-Fi is a server. So this is the Wi-Fi IP. I can uh, this time the compute is a client. So I can uh, change the client, and this Wi-Fi IP is one. Is this one? And this is a port, Wi-Fi port, and press connect. Okay, you can see this is connect, and also we can send a command. We can I can copy and paste to turn on relay one. Turn on relay one. You can see I can send. Okay, you can see uh, this is sent uh, by the Wi-Fi uh, in local network. This is in local network. And this also can send the command by the card server. Uh, you can see I can send this turn off. Just send. Uh, you can see the LED is off. So this window is for local network use. And this word, uh, this window is for remote use for card server. So these two work mode is at the same time, TCP client and the TCP server. So I can also turn on by the local network and I turn off by remote and I turn on by the local network and I turn off by the remote. <coughs> so this is how to use a different work mode for your situation, for your project. Okay, thanks for watching.